Hello everyone, I'm I'm Pacific. Welcome back to another episode of Oblivion. And in this episode, I intend to raid this cave, actually alien ruin known as Aunt Will. And I mean, if we can, we will use the money to finish furnishing the Shaden Hall house. Now, the location of this is right here. Pretty easy to get to. It's right outside Breville. So, I mean, if you're if you're the um okay. There's a horse here. But anyway, if you're the kind of person like me where you don't like to take very long to explore things, like you don't like to go out in the middle of nowhere for five hours only to find a single cave, this cave's awesome to find. This alien ruin, should I say, because not only is it an alien ruin that's very close to a city, which you can go to, uh, it's got a statue in it, I believe. I Remembering right, Antoine has a, a statue in it that you need for another quest. So I'm just gonna raid it though. I mostly intend to just get the money from raiding. <laughs> ah, raiding this stupid cave because I gotta say, I really wanna furnish my house. I, I gotta say, I am so glad that I bought an extra like powerful fire spell because I can just take this guy out, this Minotaur out. No problem. Like, look at this. He's just, he's basically dead. Wait, hold on. Oh, he's, he's dead. He's dead. He is useless to society and is dead. And look at that. Boom. Healed right away. There's a, okay, there's a Minotaur in there. How? This thing keeps activating. How am I supposed to get through if the Minotaur is over there? I mean, I'll probably end up figuring out how to get past it, but I believe I just got to do this. Okay, well, that was easy. Oh, there's another one. Man, there's a lot of Minotaurs in this cave. I'm just saying, like, I'm not complaining because it's way better to level up on Minotaurs than, like, bears or something. But still, there's, there's kind of a bit many enemies, if I do say so myself. And there is a bear. Unless that is a... Uh... Oh, it's a Spriggan's Black Bear. So we got a Spriggan... Oh... Um, yeah, this is not a good situation to be in. I'm gonna go ahead and skadoosh, 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 skadoosh. And a spriggin' is a frickin' plant, so we should slash and burn this plant right here. Hold on. Skadoosh, skadoosh, skadoosh. Stop healing yourself. Oh my gosh, man! Okay. This should be easy, relatively, of course. This is. Uh, there we go. My gosh, there's more enemies! No, there's not. Okay, I want to get this treasure here, though. So some of you may be wondering why, you know, why buy a house? Because, I mean, I'm not really collecting anything. I'm not doing anything. And really the reason why is there will get to a point in the game, right? Where if I have not built my character perfectly, I need to carry all sorts of different swords. As well as I might just want to keep, like, cool items just for the sake of keeping items. So, let's say, like, I find a cave that has trolls in it. I probably want to carry around a fire sword to deal with the trolls. And then if there's something that's weak to frost, then I'm going to carry a frost sword around. Or if something's weak to shock, I don't know what's actually weak to shock. I think shock is, like, just a neutral thing. But, I'm going to keep swords around. And it's kind of cool to keep, like, just random quest items you find that... You really can't find anywhere else. Yeah, you can like sell them for money. Like for instance, when we did the a million family heirloom thingy for the fighters guild, that armor I probably naturally would have kept, except for the fact that you know I I didn't really care about it because it's just armor, big deal. And I'm like I am getting destroyed right now. This is not good. Okay. But, yeah, so really the whole point of having a house in this game is just, A, for vanity, because, you know, it makes you look and feel super rich, and then also to just kind of keep stuff around in a, in a polite storage manner. I really wish that this sword was charged up properly so I could actually, like, do damage to this thing. Because right now I'm just kind of, like, swinging at it. Like, I mean, luckily it hasn't, it just did that absorb health thing. Once there's another one. Oh my gosh, what would really help right now, which I will get to eventually, 
is the Diedrich Quest Shield Spellbreaker, which literally you can just block spells with it, to be honest. That's all its job is to do is like, yeah, you could take the spell hits and it's annoying, but it's much cooler to sit there and just take your shield and block the spell. Like, that's such a cooler thing to do. Just like, whoosh, I blocked your spell. And then, of course, ooh, I'll take it. Of course, it absorbs the magic power of the spell. And so then you get to take this magic power of the spell that you absorbed and keep it for yourself and cast spells on someone. Just, you know, completely absorb their spell and basically reflect it. Where am I going? Is this it? I hate it when I miss doors in this game. It's so annoying. What are these things for? Like, alien ruins have these, like, crystals that are very, very bright. And I never understood, like, just what their deal is, honestly. Like, what are they doing here? What are their, what is, what is their purpose? How did they get here? Like, I don't know. And then there's just this. It's just a random light source. Probably their hint of, oh look, there's a door right here, but I just never understood why there's like random crystals everywhere that are all bright. Like, I get the, uh, uh, okay, this is really creepy. If I push this button, am I going to die? I'm actually legit creeped out by this. I'm not going to take that. I know what's going to happen. Alright. Notice how there's no enemies and there's a lot of treasure chests. Alien ruins have a tendency to uh, be like, oh, oh, never, never mind. There's just legit, there's just treasure here. I thought there was like an alien ruin where it's like, oh, you take the treasure? We're going to spawn a bunch of ghosts and zombies on you. And you're gonna die. Was that common soul gem a perhaps soul gem I could charge my sword with? Oh wait. Charge the sword. Please, there we go. I don't have to use the vault I don't have to use the big white stone I got, because I got a white stone. Um But usually the alien ruins. Oh, I'll take it. Usually the alien ruins, a couple of them. If there's special treasure for a specific quest that I will be doing, they tend to summon zombies on you, and it's really annoying. This looks like a big Minotaur. This Minotaur looks like the, like, Alpha Minotaur. Oh, Minotaur Ward. Minotaur Ward, guys. I am the Minotaur Lord, and you're gonna die. I'm ab I've am i absorbed his spells. Minotaur Lord, he looks fatter than all of them. Like, he doesn't look beefed up at all. He just looks fat. And his horns are kind of cool looking. Jeez! He does damage. Well... Screw off, mate. I did it, and I believe I can collect the did. Oh, whoa. I can collect the stones of which those are. And what's in here? A hard lock. Excellent. You guys, I'm gonna show you guys me unlocking this stupid chest. Just, I don't know. It's it's the chest in the boss room. Probably has some enchanted items in it. Let's see. Gold. Four gold for nothing. We got four gold coins out of a chest that was a hard lock. This game, by the way, procedurally generates a lot of its treasure. Like, this ruin has no quest items in it whatsoever. And the game just, like, is like, Oh, we're gonna generate your treasure for killing the boss. And congratulations, it was four. Four single gold pieces and crippling depression because you never got an award for actually killing the Minotaur. Just. Duh. I. And I'm not disappointed because, I mean, I leveled up from fighting the Minotaurs, but. I don't know. I, I mean, I could sell them. And I'm probably going to end up selling the Minotaur horns because I also I got some ogre teeth. And ogre teeth is nice, but. Still, I mean, I fought a Minotaur Lord. You gotta give me something better than four gold pieces. Hey, Borba. Borba? But yeah, I know who you are. I You're like my friend. Anyway, dang. Dang. 
Spirit. She's got all arrow. I think I actually sold her all this stuff, but I mean, I also have a bunch of stuff I got from the last area too. Uh, so, and all of my armor is broken. Great. So, I mean, I'm, I made a couple potions. Uh, cure disease. Nah, nah, nah. I don't need that. Well, I don't need that. Um, I'm just gonna sell her all my minotaur horns, all my ogre teeth, all my troll fat. And do I have anything else? Oh yeah, I got this stuff. And I got a dis, and a dis, and a dis. Borbra! You- Ah. Uh, Please. Dining, upper hall, study. I will be back with more money. Just, just so you know, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna finish this thing. Alright, so I went and I raided a cave that I had raided before because if you guys don't know, Oblivion has like a timer for caves and stuff. And Every once in a while, it basically takes the caves and respawns all the loot, cleans them out completely, so if you dropped any items, they go away. And they put all the extra stuff in, like, chests and stuff. They relock chests, they put enemies down that are more related to the player's level. So, I just went back to an old cave and I did that. Where my marker was, which for some reason, like, was still there, but... Borba! What's up? Good day. Hello, I have got... Items to sell you uh, that I found. So I found a this and a this and this and this and oh my gosh, this, there's so much. I actually found a lot of good items in this cave, and I found a minotaur horn, some ogre's teeth. Where's I had glow dust somewhere? Nah, eh, lots of this. Seems a fair price. And did I get anything normal? Oh yeah, common soul gem, a bone, an emerald, and some gold. All right. Give me the final piece to my house. Thank you. All right. Uh, now I bought everything. F yeah, that I believe finished my quest. Yep, that did. So let's go ahead and uh, we're just gonna go and check. Let's go this way. We're gonna actually end up checking our house. But I like Shaden Hall. I really do. I said this before. I'll say it again. I absolutely love this town. Just because it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know what else to say. This is freaking Poseidon right here. Statue of Poseidon next to ours. Ladies creeping on my house. Hello. Alright, whatever. Screw off. I'm going to check out my Shade and Hall house here. So, beautiful. It's a barrel. I have to take this up. So, look at it. It's amazing. Oh, and look at this. Wait, we already... The dining area! This this legit cost... This right here, with the chairs and the forks and plates and stuff, 2,000 gold. Dumb, but here we go. I'm gonna take the desk, and I actually... I used to collect parchment, parchment, because parchment weighs nothing. But I'm gonna take all of this and put it in there. Um... Okay. So let's go upstairs, see we got the barrels. Easy, we already seen these before. Well, look at this. It's so beautiful. It's amazing. This is the kitchen. Wall hangings and all. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. So now, before we end the episode, we have the level up a D. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see what we got. Endurance. Ooh, gosh. Let's see. Intelligence. Um, I should have been upgrading that more, and I think I'm gonna upgrade some more into my strength. There we go, and we're almost leveled up again. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, tell me in the comments below. These are my major skills. I'm halfway leveled up. I mean, it's gonna take a lot of time, but anyway, if you want to see me do something in the Oblivion, go ahead and tell me that in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new because I will be playing more Oblivion and Games. I'm on Pacific. See you guys in the next episode of whatever I decide to make.